we've got some new products from DJ Enterprise. Super, super clever. With some quite large packaging. I'm going to use this to protect my, my body and face. I'm going to go in here. We could see a crash. We're not sure. Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Now is the time to hit the subscribe button. We've got loads and loads of content coming. Next week, there's something really, really exciting happening. We've got a load of content planned for it. Today, we're gonna to test drone collision. So to, just to test how good the obstacle avoidance is. So we're gonna have drones flying at me flat out to see if they hit me or they break or they bypass. We've got a massive delivery from DJ Enterprise today and we're really excited to share. We've now got a DJI Dock 3 which we're going to get unboxed before we get into the video. So let's roll the intro titles and then I'll join you back in the showroom when the Dock 3 is unloaded. And the other thing is, the behind the remote key rings have finally arrived. We've had a thousand of these made, so there's only a thousand of these in the country. If you order from us, there's a little box now to say if you're a subscriber. And if you'd like a free key ring, just literally click you're a subscriber to the channel and we'll include one of our free key rings for you in your order. So it's a really exciting day today. Not only is the sun out, because I do enjoy the sun being out, we've got some new products from DJ Enterprise. There's a load of stuff going on with these at the moment. This is the new Dock 3, and it comes with the Matrice 4TD. So what we're going to do now is, this could be the first ever unboxing of this, couldn't it? Or they've been out for no, a while? No, they, 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 there are people that have beaten us to it. No, well, no. There is a few people that have been beaten us to it. But we'll, we'll undo the drone first. And the idea with this Dock 3 is to mount it on our roof for extra security and for demonstration purposes. So this Dock 3 can be activated from anywhere in the world. Once it's set up, all you need is to log into a website. That's the TD, isn't it? And again, this takes things to the next, it's so light, isn't it? I know, it's nuts. Wow, that's light. So oh, that is- Well, it doesn't have a battery in it, to be fair. There is battery, I've got batteries yeah, in there. Yeah, yeah, just here. And this has got thermal zoom. Yeah, so that's the thermal one. TD is thermal, D is the normal one. Um, it's basically a Matrice 4, just a fixed wing um, dock version. And this is waterproof, isn't waterproof it? Waterproof IP rating, yeah. What, IP65? Uh, 54, I think. So as you can see, this is very similar to the Matrice 4, that's a really, really good seller. This particular one, being the TD, has got fixed wings and it's waterproof as well. Yeah, so, so it, it, needs, it needs the fixed wing to be waterproof. See, we can fly this in the wind and rain. Mm -hmm. So we can do some hose pipe testing on this as well, which would be cool. We're gonna finish off getting this out, get it prepared. We're then gonna open the dock free and pop it on display. And then next week we'll, um, we'll wire it all up, activate it all and, and start testing it. I'll let Archie do a piece to camera in a second just to explain what the dock free is. But it's super, super clever. Um, the, the way I would explain it is, the Dock 3 is a remote solution to capture an aerial data. Is that fair enough? Yeah, remote surveillance. Basically, when you're not on site, um, the drone's on site, so you can basically capture data when, you're, when you don't have to operate it. So effectively, you could set it, for example, every hour to go up and catch a set amount of data, and every hour you can just check on and the data's back on your computer. So it's completely remote, autonomous solution. And what it will do is it opens up, takes off, collects the data, lands again, sends the data to a cloud, and then you can access it. So the other thing that's happening um, is the Matrice 4TD um, is going to, and D, is going to become a standalone combo. Um, so effectively, you can have your fixed wing um, IP rated drone. Um, and you can you can obviously run that just like a uh, like a normal drone flight, like a normal drone, um, and it's actually quicker for public safety because they don't have to fold it out when deploying it. So yeah, it's very very good. Now we are going to need a box for our testing in a minute, but I hate giving away boxes, especially that have been bespokely designed for this. So we're going to keep this box, but later on in the video you're going to see me dressed up in some armour, which will be cardboard, when Archie starts flying drones at me.
It's a good job we had the DJI Dock 3 delivered today because it comes with some quite large packaging. I'm going to use this to protect my, my body and face. We're now going to take the Mini 4 Pro, which is there, Archie. Mm -hmm. Archie's now going to fly the Mini 4 Pro directly at me as fast as he can, and we're going to set it to break so we can get some action of how quickly and how close it gets to it and how good it is flying straight at me using the obstacle avoidance brake function. Okay, I'm just turning on the Mark Cam. I'm using a DJI Pocket 3 Greater Combi. You can see Dave there, our cameraman. Say wave, Dave. That's Archie in position. Are you set to brake, Archie? Hold on. Are you set it on brake? Yeah, and I'm just putting it at 4K uh, 50. Okay, don't put it in sport mode. If you put it in sport mode, it will turn yeah, the obstacle yeah, avoidance of off and hit me. Be really interesting because we're using a white, a white prop, so to speak. So I'm going to go in here. Go. Oh, hold on a sec, Archie. I'm in. Right, here we go. First test to break. It stopped. So that worked? Yes. Okay, so come back again, just do it a little bit faster. So bring it back and do it as fast as you can. Okay, so it worked. Now go back and put bypass. We're now going to see bypass mode to see what that does. And that's bypassed, yeah? Yeah, bypass that was. That's really clever. What I want you to do now is put it in sport mode. Go by the side of me, so don't end, end so, so go fast, then hit the automatic brake button on the controller. Brilliant, so that works really well. Let's get the DJI Flip out now. The DJI Flip uses AI and uses, yeah, just uses AI, doesn't it? So Dave's recording, I'm going to get into position. And apparently the flip doesn't have bypass, you're saying, Archie? Yeah, it's only got brake. So it's only got brake, so that's really, really interesting. Maybe that's because it's got AI. Maybe it's because it's got AI. Yeah, I would have thought so. Okay, I'm in position, hold on. Let's get into my safe, protective helmet. Ready? Yeah, go for it. So that works really well, but it does get closer, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. so just go back again, just try once more. That gets much closer. It's really, really clever, isn't it? So that works really, really well. Yeah. So let's pop this down. So as you can see, there's the DJI Flip. And this one uses the AI obstacle avoidance, Correct. which is why it hasn't got bypass, it's only got brake. Mm -hmm. But you can see the, the, um, the Flip gets really, really close. Let's get a Neo out and see what a Neo does. And I don't think the Neo's got anything, is it? No, I don't think so. So we'll see what the Neo does. Okay, I've got my Mark camera on, safety device, Archie's with a Neo, nothing in the manual to say there's no obstacle avoidance on. So let's see what happens when Archie flies the Neo straight towards me and we could see a crash, we're not sure. Let's wait for that car to go past. Obviously we've got full permission from Goodwood to do our crazy experiments. Okay, Archie. <laughs> okay, so the Neo definitely doesn't have any obstacle avoidance. Just to show you how strong the Neo is, there's nothing wrong with that Neo at all, is there? No, it powered off. Power it back on and it's all fine. So the Neo powered off? Yeah. So it, find my drone wouldn't have worked then if it powered off? No. So just do it again, but slower, and see if it still stays on. So that's an interesting... So as you can see, nothing wrong, nothing wrong with the Neo at all. Take off. Just so you get some satellites. Home point updated. Cool. So Archie's gonna fly into me again. A bit slower, yeah? Just do it slower, just to see if it doesn't power off. It, w it won't work. I don't know what, that, what happened there. Okay, so that's hit me. And has it powered off again? No. So trying to take it off again? I can't, it says navigation system error. Restart aircraft. So yeah, so it's it's still running, but you have to reset it. 
We're going to get the air free S out now for the last the last tyre. Yeah. yeah. And we'll see what the air free S does. Okay, Archie's now got the air free S up. I'm going to get get under cover in my protect protecting. Let me know when. Okay, hold on. Let me get my camera in order. Okay. Go. Uh, go from a bit further back. Pardon? Go from a bit further back. Get a bit of a run up. Sweet, and ready? See how good the Air 3S does. It's not very dramatic, it's was it? It just stopped. But it did stop, didn't it? Okay, go back as far as you can and try and get some more speed. That's a much faster, but it's slowing down. So the Air 3S has a much... The LiDAR's too good. So the Air, so the Air 3S has a much slower, it picks it up a lot quicker, doesn't it's it? It's because it's got a lot, um, it can see a lot further with the LiDAR. Um, yeah, so, so, so that's really interesting. So it's now in bypass. So, so we're now gonna do a bypass and see what happens there. Let's get under my protective head. Protective hat. Ready? Fall in. Okay, so this is the Air Freos on bypass. What's really interesting is the Air Freos has LiDAR and the LiDAR picks me up much sooner than a, a, one, a drone with sensors. This is going to be bypass. So clever. Archie, see if you can get it. See if you can get it to bypass that that side of me. Helen, see if you can I get can't it to bypass past that side. I can of try, me. Dave. Watch. So it decides which way it wants to go. Sometimes it goes to the left. Sometimes it goes to the right. And other times it just goes goes around. So as you can see, DJI's obstacle avoidance works really, really well. I'm starting to think that the Mini 4 Pro has quite out of date obstacle avoidance now compared to what the Air 3S has and the DJI Flip has, because obviously both have um, the LiDAR. And it's very apparent that you can see further or, or the drone can pick obstacles up further in the distance using LiDAR than um, with sensors. So what would be really, really interesting is when DJI bring out their new drones, they can hopefully save weight on the sensors needed because they're going to be using the LiDAR, which is built in the camera. Let's go back inside and have a debrief. So to conclude, as you can see, DJI's obstacle avoidance systems are changing, and I think they're changing for the better. Touching on the Dock 3, we've managed to power it up, do some software updates. Archie, if you want to press the button now, I can get it to open and work. This also has its own camera setting. Would you believe it's also air conditioned and heated, which I've just found out for the very first time. So I'm really, really impressed with that. This can be located anywhere there's power and anywhere where there's a Wi-Fi network. It can charge itself, it can take off, it can collect data, it can land again, and then it can be loaded onto a cloud so users can get hold of it. We plan to do quite a lot of videos coming up on this, so please hit the like and subscribe button. Um, because these will come probably in the next seven to ten days. There's also some really important stuff which is going to be starting on Tuesday next week, so make sure you stay tuned for that. If you'd like a key ring, if you do order from us, please just put you're a member of um, our, our YouTube channel and we'll do that. And thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.